So how do you learn to read a ruler in 16th inch form? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And we have here a ruler that's going to help us read a ruler in 16th inch format. Now, the only thing you want to keep in mind is as you're following along, you may have to reduce the fractions along the way. That's the only thing you really want to keep on top of. So here we go. Now, because everything is in 16th notches, there's going to be 16 ticks for every inch. So starting from the first one over here, you have the first tick, which stands for 1 16th. Now, the tick that follows that is going to be 2 16th, but as we had discussed before, you can reduce 2 16ths to 1 8th, because you can reduce both the top and bottom by 2. From that point on, you have 3 16ths, the fourth tick is 4 sixteenths, but 3 sixteenths wasn't reducible, but 4 sixteenths is. From then on, you start resume counting. The fifth tick refers to 5 sixteenths. The sixth tick, 6 sixteenths, you can reduce that. And then working your way, you will have 8 ticks, which is 8 sixteenths, which you know is 1 half. But you basically just follow the pattern, and for each fraction, see if you can't reduce. If you can, great. If not, then just go on to the next measurement, and then continue counting from there. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you learn to read a 16th inch ruler.